Welcome to the skinny. Happy 4th of July! Yay. <laughs> we are here after, uh, we're a little late, I know, but... It's been a crazy weekend. It, it's been busy, and here we are, two days after weigh-in, Yep. and my Saturday weigh-in was exactly the same. I still have four pounds to go, but I was exactly two... Yeah. I was happy. I mean, it's better than a gain. Um, I would have been happier with a loss, but I had a great week. I just got to keep telling myself I had a great week. It went as planned. We we stuck with the back to basics, and we'll talk about that too. How about you? Um, I did good. I lost 2.8. That's um, a lot. Which is great. So that, um, I have to check. Yeah. I, so I am down 102.8. So I'm close to getting back to, mm -hmm. um, you know, my 105 that I was at. So if I can just get back there, I'll feel like I've, I'm fresh and ready to go. So definitely sticking with what our plan was for this week really was, was great. It made a big difference. It did. It did. So I'm going to tell with you, you, you talk water. How did water go um, with you? Water was great. Um, I, my goal was every day to drink this. It's huge. It's 64 ounces, but I tell you, I got three 24 ounce cups out of it every day. That's so huge. So this really, it's insulated, the water stayed cold. I, this was perfect. Um, this kind of had me a set goal. You drink everything that's in here and you're done. Wow. Um, so this worked for me. Now I did add some things to each cup and I have to say, this stuff right here saved my bacon. It rocks the world. <laughs> it is the crystal light because it. Some of the other flavors are a little too sweet they're, now for they're, me. They're I don't really know why, but they are powering. This is the peach iced tea. Oh my gosh, delicious! So good. It's I and find that, it like yeah. refreshing. Not like thick. It, you know, some of them are so sweet. You're like, mm -hmm. and you know, Meyer is having a sale on crystal light. Um, I'm not sure if it's still going on, but so check. Um, if you bought five, they were 99 cents each. So, so we bought the whole thing. The whole little, <laughs> the whole little box of things, the six of them. Yeah. Um, so wonderful. And so really good. Peach, I, the peach iced tea. I'm not a crazy fan of peach. My mom craved it. Our mom craved it when she was pregnant. So I mean, I've always liked them, never loved them. And you don't like tea. And I'm not a big tea drinker. And I love tea. I, I, oh, I do love tea. I like, like tea, like hot tea, special teas, specialty teas, but just iced tea in general, I don't like. But this was fantastic. Well, and I bought a treat today, which we have not tried. And this is not to replace water. This mm. will not be in a, this is, in, this would hopefully replace a soft drink after oh, I've had water. Yeah. Cause I've, I've really limited my, my diet, which has been good. Yeah. Um, but hopefully this is the um, ice, the raspberry. It's, it's the sparkling ice. It's a grape and raspberry. Oh, so we, I, I love it. We love grape. I love grape, but sometimes it's really strong. Yeah. It's so like it's, really a overpowering what's flavor in a water. All the color is beautiful. Oh my god! Really? It's so good. The color? You should see the color and the light. Taste it. Taste oh. it. You know what it tastes like? Taste what? it. I'll tell you in a minute. Oh, that it, is refreshing. It tastes like grape melted icy. Mixed mixed grape and blue <gasps> raspberry icy. Melted. Melted. Oh, it's not. It takes. Ooh, the the raspberry takes away the like the harshness of the grape. Because grape can be really oh harsh. My word. That's very good. I would actually replace the diet with this. I mean, that's good. I like that. So maybe we can limit the diet even more. Oh. This would certainly be a help, It'd at be least helpful. till we can kind of start weaning. That'll happen. Yeah. Just got to work on it. So, number two, the things that we attempted to getting back to basics were tracking and then mm -hmm. weighing and measuring. Well, for me... That was number three was the measuring. And number three was measuring. Do you want to kind of lump those two together? I think so, because I think they go hand in hand. So two or three kind of go they hand truly, in hand. They truly, truly go hand in hand. And we talk tracking, and Kim has always been really good at it. Mm -hmm. Me, it was always more of a struggle, because that's just her nature, is to, to do that, to organize, to plan. For me, it's like you've got to, you have to make... You have to make it part of your plan. You have to make it your best buddy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got to find a way to make friends with tracking. Yeah. Because it is the one of the backbones mm -hmm. of the program. 
is tracking. And your favorites list will make that even quicker. Yeah. If there's stuff that you eat a lot of, put a star, hit the star button yeah. because it's going to load on your tracker a lot faster yeah. and allow you to track quickly yeah. where it doesn't consume yeah. time. Tracking will catch you if you fall. Yes. Do it. Make friends. I mean, and even, you know, and even if you're a good tracker and you track those weeklies and you go over and you gain, you've at least are aware of what's coming. It's not a yes. shocker. There's power in knowledge. There's power in knowing. And there's, there is. And when, mm -hmm. sometimes when you're tracking and you know you're, you're really using your weeklies, mm -hmm. it might tend to back you off of yeah. when you go out somewhere picking this or that. This might be better since well, I know I've only got this many I weeklies left. I know we used a lot of points yesterday. So we I'm did. into my weeklies. We are. So that means the rest of my week it has to be very tight. tight. I have to be 30, 30, 30. I, I don't want to use any more of my weeklies. Yeah. But because we tracked everything. We know that. We know. And there's power. Mm -hmm. Total, make friends with it. Mm -hmm. It's your best friend. And weighing and, and weighing and measuring are just part yeah. Of because that. if you're tracking something and it's not accurate, accurate, you're not tracking. You're not really tracking. No. So then you want to take next. Yeah. Step. You know, I have to say we stuck with the SPs. We did. And I I felt more comfortable with that because it was what we started with and how it, it it's like an old friend. It well, it was points, but as it regards to points, mm -hmm. and I just felt um, it was just a comforting thing, and it was I I felt better not flipping um, and just sticking. So right now I'm just gonna mm -hmm. stick with it. I, I need to just keep it on the straight and narrow. Yeah, we me. pulled some of the cards we did like we had Kodiak cakes and. Um, so we had those pointed, we might pull those card, you know, one of our cards out of mm -hmm. our, our bin and say, okay, let's do Kodiak cakes tonight. Let's do I did a mason jar salad for lunch it had been twice a while. this week. Mm -hmm. I have not done those in forever. That was always a big part of our mm -hmm. lunches that we were, it was great. Yeah. It was great. Um, so I was glad, I mean, I was glad some I did that. Old and I friends are back to some more bags of salad to do some more mason jar salads this coming week. So yeah. I'm really excited about Cause this. Cause you know how you do something for so long, you kind of get sick of it, except for yes. Kodiak cakes. I always want those. Um, <laughs> maybe not as much as I used to do it, but I'm, I'm doing it. I'm putting it more yep. back into, cause I love them. I do too. But sometimes you get sick of something. We got, I got sick of the, the mm -hmm. salads, the mm -hmm. mason jar salads. And it's They're kind great. of fun to see them come back. Mm -hmm. It's like, Oh, I'm kind of wanting these now. Oh my gosh, they were so good. It was so good. I had it at yeah. work and Stacy looked at me and she goes, oh my God, that looks really good. And I'm it like, was. Oh, yeah. So, it was still, yeah. And I just take a paper plate and I dump it out and I yeah. just toss it. Because we'll use like a mixed well, bag. And hold on. Are you gonna I share? am going to share once again the dressing. We'll share like a mixed bag of like, we'll get um, like a romaine and spinach and it's a nice mixed lettuce. We'll add, um, oh but then we add like fat-free feta. Yes. Then we add some of those slivered almonds, not a ton. No, we the measure cranberry. them out. The I mean, it's low one, sugar cranberries. Well, no, for the one, no, the one I get's a mixture, the one I just recently got. Yeah, it's not a mixture. It's a mixture. And it's literally at one point per tablespoon. Yeah, so we don't put much a in A tablespoon's there. plenty. It's just enough to. But dressing for us, I don't like to spend points for dressing. Yeah. I don't. If I have to, I will. This is my favorite. These. This one's raw. This one's my favorite. Skinny girl dressing. Yeah. Fourth of a cup. Zero. Yeah. I love the honey Dijon and Kim loves that. Well, I like one. both, but this is my favorite. My favorite. Pick. I will say I used to order them from Walmart online you and they the would ship seed. them to the store. Yeah. This is the poppy seed. Yeah. Now they're selling them in the store. It's and I'm awesome. so excited. They have a, a fat free vinaigrette, raspberry vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. They have a balsamic vinaigrette. They have the poppy seed, the honey Dijon, and I think there's even another one. Another one. And they're I can't remember really, what the other one is. They're really $1.99 at Walmart. A thin. Bottle. They're not thick. They're not mm -hmm. a thick dressing. So what I like about you it. You don't need a lot. Is it goes far. Mm -hmm. So you use that mm -hmm. that amount and it goes Two far. tablespoons does it goes a long way. It and goes a long it's way. Zero. Zero. So good. And they're delicious. I could actually drink this with the straw. It's yeah. It's really that good. It's, you know, fat, you can't go wrong with the fat free and the sugar free. Yeah. And it tastes good. Mm -hmm. We've tried a lot. I mean, yeah. we've tried Taste a matters lot with of dressings. Mm -hmm. I mean, there have been some, it was like, um, do you want that? Cause I can't eat it. Well, and I like my packet wins. Granted, they're points if I'm not doing right. simply filling, but, I, but it's a packet that I don't have to worry about going bad. Once I open that, it's got to go to the refrigerator. Yeah. But so a lot okay. of times I'll open it and I'll do a little container if I'm in the mood for that, or I'll just keep, or I keep the packet in my purse for emergencies. I have a packet at work for emergencies and I yep. just grab it and go and it's the, the fat free French. Prepared. Just going to be prepared. So, so, so after SBs, so it SBs. was exercise. Yes. We both, we did our two days um, in the gym. 
Yeah, make sure that that happened. Mm -hmm. And we went to the It went well. And then zoo. we went to the zoo again. See my little family reunion shirt? There's Fiona. Fiona, family See, reunion. And there's Bibby and Henry. And, B and Fio B Bibby's wearing the Fiona shirt. Isn't that cute? So cute. So we did not see Fiona. We tried to see her twice. We went in the earlier and later during the end of the day. And Bibby and Henry were in each other's grill always. Both times. Yes. We went yeah. back there in the same position. They're going to have another hippo, I bet, sometime soon. I think they got him on birth control right now. They are on birth control right now. <laughs> Man, they're always like, oh, they're so close to each other. You're like, really? But it's really? so cute that they love each other. <laughs> because our, our polar bear, we got a new polar bear. They don't like they don't each like other. Each other. Mm -mm. So she paces. <laughs> he stands her and looks at her like, what you doing? I don't, like each other. I don't, I don't think, each other. I don't think they're having babies. But anyway, anywho. Okay, moving on. So we did a lot of walking on that day, a lot mm -hmm. of hills. It was nice, uh, nice day. Then the next day we went swimming. So yep. there was exercise. Um, but we did take our food to the zoo. We did. I love that you can pack a lunch, mm -hmm. take a little cooler, and walk into our zoo, and they're fine with that. Yep. They sell a lot of things like funnel cake and, you know, fries, hot dogs, and pizza, uh, Grater's ice uh, cream. Uh -huh. So we take our own, mm -hmm. which is helpful. Yes. But occasionally if we eat there, they have a little kid's meal that you can do. And you, yes. you could find, if you went to the indoor cafe, I think you could find you something can, that's a little lighter. You could make it work. Because we've in a pinch gone into the indoor cafe and actually split a meal before, yeah. Yeah. Um, which has been great. But it's, again, knowing where you're going yeah. and what the opportunities are for food and thinking, you know what? I've tracked my week. It looks like it'll be smart because we knew we were going to have a Sunday event that might require us to have a little more food we weren't in control of. I used a so, lot more points. Yesterday was my point yes. day. So we decided Saturday Sunday we had was. to be more in control and that's mm -hmm. why we took our lunch this And day. today was in good, obviously a good day. Um, and tomorrow, our fourth, we planned it. It should be easy good. peasy. It should be good. Um, it will be good actually because I'm in total control of it. Right. But, um, but exercise was great this week. Yes. And great. then we go off to the last one, which attitude. is attitude. I think we both had a really good attitude about the week. I, I think, think we're both we excited to get back to how we used to do it. It, it is. It's kind of, I'm, I'm start, I'm trying to replay those. I yeah. even thinking about like, I was looking through some of my, this list little books that I've started that I have were some of the weight loss books that I have, you know, how your, your old books, you keep them. I keep mine. And I went through some of that stuff and it's just, it starts, I look at my, and I look at, I always you know, pull out and look at my charms. It's stuff like that that reminds you of those times in the past that you've had yeah. on the program and how your journey is, yeah. is gone. Yeah. So that kind of, that gets you kind of excited and you reminisce and it's been good. And I just, you know, made my goal last week of, I said, I said in the next four weeks, I want some kind of loss every week. I don't care what it is. Someone else in our meeting said that was their goal. She did. And it was like, and I was like, oh my God, what a great one. Has she, has she been listening in? What a great one. No, <laughs> but what a great one. I mean, it's one that I think is realistic. Mm -hmm. She's, and she even said, I don't care if it's point two. I don't care what it is. Yeah. As long as it's a loss. I'm like, sis, I'm with you. I think my words were, I want to make it to goal. <laughs> yeah. So that's my goal is to make it to goal. So set something like that. And I think it was a reasonable, my goal was a reasonable goal. It is. And yeah. it's to some kind of loss. I'm not saying, oh, I want to lose three pounds every week. That's not what I'm I was gonna. saying. <laughs> I mean, it was something. Yes. Just be, it's, it's just be consistent. When you, if you set a goal that's out of reach and then you don't make it, you're disappointed. You're disappointed and you can beat yourself up and it, that's just not worth mm -hmm. that. It's not worth that. You've got to look at it in a little bit of a different way. No. And, and one of the things we were talking about this week is, you know, obviously you're coming on 4th of July. Um, for us, I think, what's our challenge? Biggest what's, challenge. We were asking ourselves, you know, what what's our biggest challenge to date, I mean, currently. In this journey right now. Because, you know, we're not emotional eaters. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not an emotional eater anymore. No, really. That You know, my emotional eating was tied to my mom, and, and that's a non-issue in my life, clearly, at this point, because my mom's deceased. Um, and I love my mom, don't get me wrong, but she's bipolar, so. It could be challenging. It was challenging. I had a great mom, but we she did. struggled. And so, my emotions were tied to whatever she was yeah. going through. Yeah. Um, so that issue is gone. And other th things that were emotional, don't make me eat. No. She, it was just primarily focused on yeah, her. Right here. <laughs> so, you know, I don't no longer, no longer have really have that issue. It's like not a big deal for me. My yeah. struggle, if I had to name my top struggle, it's going to be events. And not family events. No. Because we show up with our own food we and show, they yeah, expect yeah. it. <laughs> But events. They like, expect it. And 
And if I'm going out somewhere I'm extremely familiar with, it's easy. Easy yep. peasy. But if it's out, out of my control. not been there, even if you've looked up the restaurant yes. and you try to prepare, but if you're yes. going to somebody's house and they're serving whatever and you don't know them necessarily well I enough struggle. to go, what are you making? I have to say, those are hard for me. That's your balance. Because that's I don't always make the best decisions. Yeah. And that's a struggle for me. Or if I'm going to an event that's once a year and they have something I love, that's a struggle for me. I will admit, that can be because a real struggle for me. Sometimes I say... I get yeah. this once a year, I'm doing it. And I don't know if I call but that a struggle. I do because, because I make right that now, decision. I don't want to be doing it, but I do it anyway. Yeah, so well. that means it's a struggle. That's up to you. <laughs> that means it's a struggle. And it is for me. And, <laughs> and I've acknowledged that looking, just really looking at where I'm at, that that is probably my biggest issue. Yeah. Look, so figure out what's your biggest issue. I mean, I'm going to have to work on it. I'm going to have to think of some ways to really help myself with that and to really kind of work on that. That's something, because it's something I'm always going to have to deal with, so I might as well deal with it. I mean, that's, that's life. I mean, it, I think it comes down to, and this is me personally, I think it comes down to you go to this place, you have a decision to make, and if you're like, oh, I'm not making the decision I really want to well, be making because but it's a but I'm just I'm saying myself. Well, that's fine. But I'm just saying, I generally look at it this way. If I'm having it, I'm clearly making the decision to have it. It's oh, not yeah, that I don't want to have it. I'm making the decision I want to have it. And I have it. But I want to get to goals. Then you so, don't really want to have it. Then don't have it. I know. that's a, But it's a struggle. It's, it's a struggle. Yeah. It is a struggle. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just acknowledging my struggle. You can acknowledge your struggle. But the, and I'm going to have to work on that struggle. Because I'm going to have to make some decisions well, about how quickly do I want to get to goal versus how I want to do this. And sometimes, sometimes, sometimes this, the devil wins. Sometimes the angel wins. But then have half of it. You know what I mean? It's, it's like I got to work that out. Don't have all of it. I got to work that out. You can say, hey, they're having brownies. Do you want to split one with me? And I'll split one with you. And we would be done. I got to right? work that out. I do. So, you know, I'm working on it. Think on it. It's my issue. So we have a couple things to share. Oh, we, we do. We've, I've shared these, and this, I'm not sharing the, um, good oh, my Mickey Mouse. I got an iPhone, and my Mickey That's decided to say They're good two. evening. I got an Apple Watch, so I don't know what happened. He just wanted to say hello. Anyway, I opened these Cheez-Its, and I've talked about this before. P.S. They're reduced fat Cheez-Its and you can have 34 of them for four SPs and they're delicious. But she doesn't eat them very often. I don't eat them very often. I get them and then they sit in my pantry. And you've had one serving. One serving and then I have to throw them away the next time I try them. So we've talked about using the food saver, which is fantastic. Yes, any vacuum seal pack or any. So what I did is I opened this and then I used our, the food saver we have to pulse it so it wouldn't crush it's the most of the air out. I didn't want there's to crush. Some, there's some air still in here, not a lot, but you don't want to, because I don't want to crush the crackers. I have to get better at this, mm -hmm. pulsing to get it a little tighter without crushing my crackers, but then I just sealed it again. So it's nice and sealed. Um, I probably, I did it high so that when I open it again, then I can go a little bit farther down and seal it again. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a fun little tip. And then I put it back in the box. But again, I think I'm gonna learn to try to suck out a little more air. But if you get better at if it, if you suck too much out, you'll crush yeah. what's in the bag. Yeah. So they want to crush. Still the working crackers. on that. But I love this that I'm not gonna have to pitch these. I don't have to throw them away when I have another one like a month mm -hmm. later. You know? I know. So and that's a big waste. And one of the things someone in our meetings has suggested to us because we love these. We love these. These are the cranberry almonds, and you get them at the Weight, at Weight Watchers. But they're five and SPs. They're five SPs. But I, they're good. I think they're they're delicious. I really like them. You can get them at your Weight Watchers meetings. They're delicious. And I think they're a decent size. They they're, are. They're, uh, but it's five not points. like this. It's a lot. It's a, what I like about these is I think they're dense. Mm -hmm. I think they're a good snack. If you have five SPs left yeah. for a day and you're trying to get your food in, I like them because they're good. They're they're really good. It's a breakfast square. It's oatmeal. I think they taste and so good there are and they're dense. And there are people who do spend five points on breakfast. So we spend yeah. three. But if you spend five on breakfast, they're a good option. This with a banana. Yum. And we've even opened one and split one before. As a we snack. have as a snack. Just to kind of get, and they're lovely. And yeah. So I really like us. these, but somebody recommended something else. Yeah. These are um, Special K, and they recommended the berry ones for points. But when I went to the store, they had, it has the pretzel chocolate and the dark chocolate pomegranate and the red berry. It has all three in here. And it gives you four of each one. And they were on sale for like $3.77 versus two bucks for each and individual box. And they're all four points. All four points. Now, we're going to take a look at them. We're going to, yeah. 
I think we should try one of them. We need to pick okay. one and just try it. Well, or we could try, ooh, that pomegranate This is the size. Good. They're very airy, so I'm not sure. They're not as dense mm -hmm. as the Weight Watchers one, so I'm not sure how filling they'll be. I find this one to be pretty filling, and I like it. But these, I'm, I don't know if they're going to be filling enough to hold me to eat for breakfast. So I hazard to guess these would be a snack instead for me. And I'm going to check real quick the protein for... Yeah. Which one do you want to try? One gram protein, so it's not a lot of protein. It's not a lot of protein. Um, I tell you, that dark, dark chocolate pomegranate looks delicious. Well, let's try it. I mean, like I said, I really like these. What I like about these, I'm looking at the protein on these. They're, um, let's see, dietary protein. 10, 10 grams. So that's for an extra point, you're getting 10 grams of protein. You're getting 10 grams of protein. There's yeah. fiber in here. I just, I, I really like these. I'm a fan. These might get donated to. Yeah, if, if so my nephews for their lunch. Yeah, because if these, I, I have tend to want filling in a snack or a snack that has a little more. Yeah, you can see. Let's open them so they can see it. Yeah, you can see it's that's not, the dark chocolate pomegranate. It's not really that big and it's really light. It has no denseness to it. But let's try. We can at least see if it's good. Let's find out. How about you just give me half of your half? Oh, well, let's do that. So we split it and we're doing a half of a half. It's very airy. This is a dark chocolate pomegranate. They're good, but this won't hold me. This is like mm -mm, a Rice Krispie treat. Yeah, thank you. That's it. We're stuffing it. It's very light. Mm -hmm. It's not even as dense as a Rice Krispie treat. I think these are going to Lucas. Yeah, it's even airier than a Rice Krispie treat. I'm gonna give these to Brandy for the boys. <laughs> There's not enough density. Not enough, yeah. No. If I'm, for an extra point, I'd rather spend an extra point and get 10 grams of protein versus well, one gram. And this? is very dense it's a very it's, dense and it's a nice size yeah and so, it's yeah i i still think these yeah, are gotta, i'm with you they gotta beat man they, i'm with you yeah one of the things we got it picked up at our meeting while we were there was this little one it's like five bucks it's a little cookbook it's called burgers like and hot dogs and i got to say i i hope they stick with doing these little kind of these things little books because they're not expensive but they cover a certain topic. And now what I liked about this is it has a, a, a low-fat Chicago dog in here. It, it does. has like a low-fat Greek burger. A Greek-style cheeseburger. Yeah. So it had some really good ideas that obviously you can take part of it that you want. Um, yeah. I'm having a burger tomorrow and I may, may sprinkle well, some bread on it. And it in the back it gave some like nice like treats or desserts that you might have that are fruit that would mm -hmm. go along really mm -hmm. well with like a burger and a hot dog yes for an after so if you they're it's called weight watchers is. best of burgers and hot dogs so if you go to your next meeting and they have them it might be i think it would be worth picking it up i there's multiple things i can totally make. pull it out um and use multiple it again things. it for any other picnic they, they need to do a crock pot one they do they need to do a they truly do oh what else they could do there's a lot casserole casserole would be good crock yeah pot would be good, really there's good. a bunch of these they could do because yeah. really there's not a ton in here but there's not you know it's, it's just not right to, overwhelming it's not overwhelming and like i said there's probably three or four things in here i would make off the bat mm -hmm. so yeah I, so i'm gonna tailor my little burger tomorrow it. i'll get my yeah. little burger on my little pig grill and i'm going to tailor my burger tomorrow in some fun way yeah so I, I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it. I want them to get. I want the crock pot one though. <laughs> maybe right. winter they'll get it. Crock pot before. Make maybe sure it's coming fall. Before fall, like right on the cusp of fall in October, you do a crock pot. I'm one. sure there'll be. Weight Watchers. To hello. <laughs> <laughs> I want a crock pot one for fall. It'd be great for fall. Yeah. Mm. I'd be the first in line if it sold out. I'd be upset. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> Anyway. Needless to say, we're working our week the way we did last week. I, yes. Yesterday was Continuing. a struggle food-wise. I'm tracked, and I, I'm more, I've, I've dipped into the weeklies. They're dipped. So I've dipped, and I've <laughs> dipped a chunk. So I'm spending the rest of my week working on it, and I feel good about, I feel good about where I'm at. Well, again, it's because we tracked, we know that we, what we have to work with we do and it's like instead of throwing up, up our hands and saying oh crap well i just went over and blew so it i might as well just blow it some more no i mean that was our weight watchers mo yes. when we did weight watchers many times ago. many times ago our mm -hmm. mo was always if you have a bad day you might as well just blow the rest of the week and then don't show up at your meeting because you probably gained <laughs> weight so let's skip the meeting 
So all of those things that we used to do, we never do. We have never skipped since we've been this first, this last because journey. Because we don't want to weigh in. We've never skipped because we were afraid we were going to gain and we didn't want to nope. weigh in. Never. Never. And that was like rule number one. Mm -hmm. And what you know what our other one was that we don't do? We don't have a cheat meal on Saturday. Nope. We used to always have, whenever we'd weigh in, we always weighed in on Saturdays, wherever we went, typically it was Saturdays. Yep. Or whatever day it was, more, most likely Saturdays typically. Yep. We would always have a cheat meal on that day. Don't. Like McDonald's or whatever. We do not do that, that anymore. We don't do that anymore. Gosh, there's so many things that... I mean, obviously, sometimes you'll go out and do stuff during the week, but we don't have a specific cheat meal, cheat meal on Saturday. Actually, Saturday is prob probably our best... One of our best days. Um, one of our of the best week. days of the week, more times than not, unless there's a specific event. big event yeah. that we're going to dip into weeklies. But there is no cheat meal, as we used to call it. No, and we really don't eat fast food like that anymore. Mm -hmm. But in the past, literally, we would be oh, like yeah. McDonald's. We're doing McDonald's. We're doing Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Which pick... Taco Bell you can do, but we're not talking the good Taco Bell. No. We're talking the Taco Salad. We're talking the Taco Salad and eating the bowl. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. that. <laughs> That was how we rolled. We were like, we, we set that up. Or Adela Rose's pizza, uh, which we don't eat anymore. No. I mean, we would be like, mm -hmm. yeah. So. We were bad. That's part, kind of like, we've reminisced a little bit about some of the stuff talking about this back to basics. Remember what we used to do when we, first, we did Weight Watchers mm -hmm. before? So, kind of think about those things. I know probably some of you out there have done this before, and this is... A, a second time, a third time, a fourth time. Gosh, I can't even count how many and times it's if been for us. If it's been a multiple time, is there one thing that you're still doing that you did before and that you need to you stop? Back? Yeah. If you can pinpoint it, stop it. Stop it. Because <laughs> it made all the difference. Mm -hmm. Those all the two difference things in this made journey. All the difference. Yep. And I think it just kind of proved to ourselves our level of commitment. You yeah. know what I mean? I think it yeah. really just. It's true. It showed how willing we were t to do this. And we kind of proved it to mm -hmm. ourselves and to each other. So now I'm going to prove to myself that my getting to go weight is more important than an event. I need to work on that. Yeah. Just got to balance it out. I mean, could we, you and I both probably, even mm -hmm. with our, even with our hypothyroid, we probably could have come to our goal weight quicker. Sure. But we, in some cases, balanced living and enjoying life with, you're right. Weight loss. You're right. And in some cases, you're I, right. I don't regret anything. I, you know what? I, I don't, don't regret that either. But now, right now, now you need it to be different. I, yeah, right now, I, I, I want, want it, it to, to be, be different. different. Yep. I want to try to really find this Boom. more of the balance where I can. You want that huge forge ahead weight loss thing that drives you yes. in the beginning. Yes. So that I can, you know, and granted, I know events are going to yeah. come and go and I'm going to enjoy those, but let me get to go weight first because <laughs> then I can work within my two pounds and, and, and make it happen. You I know? know, but right now I want to get there more than I want the event. Yes. And granted, I don't always have control of my events, but I'm going to have to work that out. Yeah. I am going to, I'm determined to figure it, figure that out for myself. Well, I can't, and what I need to do to make that I work. I can't tell you how many times though I've walked into Weight Watchers in the last couple weeks and mm -hmm. said, it's gonna be gold week. It's gonna do it. It's gonna be this week. I, I honestly, there was a part of me that thought when I weighed in Saturday, I, and I'm like, this is gonna look, be it. And I was, I snuck in behind her and was like looking, exactly the same. And I, I felt like, so bad. I was like, this is gonna be it. I felt so bad no. when I saw the number. I felt so bad. It was, I was, I did. I it's, felt so bad. It's, it's like, it's <laughs> like because you really did. I thought you had a great week, but you know, it's, it's, it's those times that you're like, it, I sometimes with. Everybody says when it's you're a couple like five pounds from goal weight, it's kind of torture. It's like slogging through mud. It's like I you think, oh, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get there, and you think I'm there, yeah. and then you get on there, and it's like you just somebody shoved you back down in the mud, and it's like, well, crap. <laughs> but the thing is, you have to look at it this way: if you this week kind of really granted you've dipped into the weeklies, but if you really kind of forge ahead and keep keep on track, you you could, ca could catch up with you, and you could see a loss this week. I, I always tell her now, I, I told her a couple times too, I was like, I should, I just, I should have a good, great week. And I just tell myself, don't get your hopes up. Just let hope, it happen. Let it be. It's, it's what it is. If you have a good week, it's what it is. I, all I can do is do my best, be honest with myself, get on the scale and what's going to happen is going to happen. You got a point. Now that we've droned on for a while. Yeah. <laughs> We will say, Sorry, it's 29 minutes of... <laughs> we will say goodnight. We will say goodnight. And have a great week. Have a great 4th of July. Yes. And, and we'll see you mm -hmm. lighter later. Yes. Bye. Bye.